Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my 100 day project and 100 days of Bible promises. It is day 51 and I am working on quietness and trust. Learn to be still is something I say very often because it is something that I really struggle with. Quieting my mind, quieting my hands, quieting my heart. It is uh, really, really hard for me sometimes, but I am loving the words that I'm getting here, especially in the prayer at the bottom. You alone are my refuge in this crazy busy loud world yes that is right so i'm gonna start here with just some clear gesso i know i'm gonna go hard with the paint today so i'm gonna protect my page just by starting with clear gesso in this brand i'm using is liquitex professional brand and i'm just swiping it all over you can't see it it dries clear and i'm back and i'm showing you it has dried and there's not even like a glare on the page at all I'm coming in with some of my favorite blues. I've got some golden, Payne's gray, and teal. And then I'm starting off with folk art, minted aqua. That is one of my favorites. I use it a lot. And uh, the teal doesn't want to come out. It's almost empty and it's kind of pretty thick. So I'm just gonna dig in with a, with a spatula and get some out. And I'm just gonna start blending those paints while they're wet. They kind of um, get a softer edge when you blend the two colors together. But this is not one and done. I'm gonna keep going back and forth, you'll see. It's kind of one of those things where you just keep working it until, you, until you're happy with it. Now I'm gonna go with Payne's Gray. This is probably the most intense color I've ever used in my life. If you've ever used Payne's Gray, let me just spoiler alert you right now. It's not gray. It's like this dark midnight blue. It's beautiful, it's kind of indigo-y. Um, but you can see it there, I got very little paint on my brush, I even, had the lighter blue on my brush and it's still coming through as a very, very dark, dark blue. I'm just spreading it around. I'm kind of creating that, what I feel is like a midnight effect circle. Um, and so I've got all my colors down and I'm just going in with a little bit of the um, aqua, minted aqua, and just kind of smoothing out any places I feel are like rough edges or harsh transitions and just creating um, a fluid color change a little bit of an ombre going on there my focus here is kind of a dark forest and I've got some painted papers here that I used a while back to create birch trees but then when I look at them tonight all I can see is Beetlejuice and so I'm not gonna be using the painted side I've decided I'm gonna go and use the black side but I still think the colors are a little harsh so I just you saw me add a little gesso to my brush I'm just swiping the gesso around this is also Liquitex basic gesso and see how the paper flipped over to black and I think yep that's it I'm just gonna go with all black just black tree trees in the midnight a little black tree forest in the silent still of winter and that is honestly the quietest thing I can think of which is why it's such a good representation for me if you're out in the middle of the forest with the moonlight and it's snowy and cold it's very very quiet in my mind even though I live in Texas I don't know if I've actually experienced it um, but there's a lot of trust I feel that has to go in with that as well safety and um, fear of the unknown, you put your trust in God and you just keep going. So you can see me there just building my trees, adding in some branches. There's no leaves left on any of these trees. I'm just gonna make it a very starry, snowy night. I'm just kind of placing my trunks around and getting some, some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? composition going here is going to be my snowy base I just cleaned up a piece of white paper and just put it there at the bottom to create some snowfall some drifts that are sitting there in the forest providing some sound absorption and that quiet peaceful feel stillness that we all love I'm going to start gluing it down now I won't make you watch me glue all of them so I'm going to fast forward here in just a second there we go and I'm pretty much done. My trees are down. I'm just cutting a few tiny, tiny trunks to add more variety and depth to my forest. I'm 
Look how nice that looks. I'm kind of loving it. So I need to um, put my snow drifts down. I'm going to make sure I can still kind of read the prayer. So I put it just right above the words there. And I've got to repunch my hole since I glued the snow drift over it and get it back in my binder. Voila. Here we go. All right, so you can see me adding a little bit more blue around the page. I decided, um, well, since I put the clear gesso up there, I knew I was gonna put some paint up there, but I decided a few more branches, I think, is what is going to go in that corner there just to kind of carry the tree, winter bear tree across the page. And I'm just kind of wiping off my brush and just adding some paint around there, but I'm gonna grab some more of my black trunks and just create a branch moment right up there in that top corner. One thing I did learn about creating trees and leaves, or I'm sorry, limbs in this exercise was that the branches that shoot off from the main branch should be shorter than the main branch. So take that tip with you. I love the way that looks. I love the contrast that the black provides against the blue. All right, so now that both the pages are gonna come out of the war binder and we're gonna go ahead and um, start adding some snow. I'm gonna go ahead and protect my surface. If you do not like a mess, this is not the project for you. Please know that I have um, paint in my hair still as we speak. I'm just going to be doing some splattering to create snow. I'm putting a little gesso down and I'm trying to clean my brush out. I had that teal blue in it and yeah, there's a lot of pigment in that paint. So the blue doesn't all want to come out, but I'm putting a little water with my white gesso to create um, some splattery stuff and I'm using that brush and the blue is literally coming out. So I did grab another brush, but you can see here the splatter. I'm gonna zoom in in just a minute so you can see it really up close, how how effective it is. There we go. Look how pretty it is. I'm gonna zoom back out here in just a minute. So there we go. And I'm just splattering all over the page anywhere there is some blue or some dark that can um, provide a little contrast with the splatter I'm just gonna hit it real quick and splatter but pretty much just so you know my whole desk is now covered in in white dots so that's it's not for the faint of heart let me tell you all right so just going around and adding all the snow my page can handle and then um, I wanted to put a phrase on there as well. I wanted to add the phrase, be still, and I don't have a stamp for that, but I found this one first and I kind of am loving it. It's a heart and inside the heart in tiny font, it says simply abide. And I really feel like that is, goes all right along with the quietness and trust um, that we should have for God. So I'm gonna use a reverse stamping technique first. I used a gray, specifically the one called iced spruce distress ink and I turned the stamp around and stamped the flat side of the stamp first to create a shadow and then I flipped the stamp back over and did um, the actual image and I did it also on the white to see which one I liked better but I do like the one with the shadow so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one out and um, I'm gonna use some foam tape to pop her up and make her stand out Gonna hit the edges real quick with a little bit of speckled egg and I was thinking well I should have done the shadow and speckled egg too but that's neither here nor there here we are I'm just gonna add that foam tape like I said and put her can't decide quite where to put her yet here there and sure I'm kind of thinking at the bottom right of the page and I like to add a little glue to my foam tape just to make sure back back up down around nope gonna put her in the middle 
here we go. And just like that, my page is done. Thanks for watching. I'm glad that you would stop by and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.